therefore we have y which is 2 over x and you have y which is 2x plus 3. To solve this simultaneous equation means that equate the two or subtract this from the other one which simply means 2x plus 3 is equal to 2 over x. You can cross multiply or whatever you call it, use this skull and bone, I don't know. So x goes there, it becomes x into 2x plus 3 equals to 2, 2x squared plus 3x equals to 2. Bring the 2 to this side so you've got 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals to 0. So you're simply trying to solve for the roots of this quadratic. Okay. Now, you can think of any method to use. You might want to use the um, factorization method because that looks applicable and straight away. So what do you multiply to get minus 4? And when you add, you get plus 3. Simple, isn't it? Plus, that's going to be plus 4 and minus 1. So 2x squared plus 4x minus 1x minus 2 equals 0. What is common to this 2? What's common to this 2? 2 and x are common to this 2. So you get 2x out of the bracket. When you take 2x out of 2x squared, you level x. When you take 2x out of 4x, you're left with plus 2. What's common to this 2? Negative, minus 1. So minus 1 is out, you're left with x, you're left with plus 2. And again, factorize this, so you get 2x minus 1 into x plus 2 equals 0 x is either minus 2 or x is 1 over 2 and we already said the y is 2 over x therefore y is either 2 over minus 2 or y is 2 over half 2 over minus 2 is minus 1 2 over half is 2 over 1 times 2 just 4 so the solutions are minus 2 comma minus 1 and half comma 4 that is the solution and it's the same thing as asking you to find the point where the line y equals to 2 over x meets the line y equals to x plus 3. Stephanie, so um, finally we shall look at quadratic inequalities which is like the simplest thing you will ever be asked. Do you know why it's simple? Because it's the normal line. Okay. Um, first thing first. X plus 4 times X minus 7 less than or equal to 0. What is the solution? All you need to do is draw your number line. Now let's assume this were quadratic. What would be the solutions? Minus 4 and plus 7. Yes, that's true. Minus 4 and plus 7. So we want to look for solutions to this inequality. But you have been told that the point, the inequality, solu the equality solution is part of it. So, I mean, you've been told less than or equal to. So that means that the equation, the solution to the equation is also included. So minus 4, which is a solution, and plus 7, which is another solution to the equation, is included in the overall solution. First thing. The next thing is, we have three segments in this number line, on this number line. We've got less than minus 4 we've got greater than 7 and we've got between minus 4 and 7. We want to find out which of these positions, which of these regions work with this inequality. So we are just going to do three things. We're going to test a number that falls around here and see if it agrees with the inequality. We're going to test a number around here and see if it agrees. And we're going to test a number around here to see if it agrees. If any of them agree, it means that the entire region where that number falls in is included 